Romans chapter 8 verse 9 Miingon ang Biblia If he that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you You know that this Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead also dwells in us The Spirit that dwells in you can quicken your mortal bodies I think Romans chapter 8 verse 11 na yun Verse 11, can quicken your mortal bodies. Hindi na ito madiscover nga ang solusyon sa mga sakit o kahinaan sa atong lawas, masolusyonan siya pinaagi sa kinabuhi sa Diyos na ipa didala sa Espiritu Santo. Ang Espiritu Santo, mga anaa ka na ito, nagdala ka ng kinabuhi sa ginoo. Ang kinabuhi sa Ginoo ay inactivate sa kadiregdado sa pinaagi sa Espiritu Santo. When that life of God is being activated and it will continue to grow, then anything, any sicknesses, any weaknesses can be ejected. Do you believe in that? That what it means that Spirit dwells in you can quicken your mortal bodies. Because that spirit that dwells in you, in that spirit is the life of God. It's the life of Jesus. It's the nature of Jesus. It's the character of God. And whatever is it, you know of God. It's there. Kaya lang siguro, wala eh. Hindi natin pinatubo, hindi natin pinalalargo. That's why we remain no, repeated. But well, anyway, I'm telling you, let's experience it. Ay, na kami daghang mga why ikabayad mo to doctor, pero nagabuhi. It's because the spirit na, that gives life <laughs> na activate. So, wala, matapos na tayo. Malapit na. What would inspire us to move on is this question Siguro. Amen. We already believe that Christ is in the person. The verse in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 5 to 6 would really tell us that si Cristo na asa tanan. Why? Ang tanan nagkasala, di ba? Bisag makasalanan ang tao, bisag ang tao na sa pagpakasala, even if man is dead to sin, the Bible says, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 5, God has quickened him with Christ. That's what in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 5 and 6. Even we are, even if man is dead to in sin has he quickened that man with Christ when does wapagani matao ang tao can you imagine that when Jesus Christ was quickened from the dead and was raised from the dead when, uh, and was made to sit at the own right hand of the Father the, the Spirit did that kaya katong mga tao nga na unang na tao ka na to basic kita, we can, we can also we can also claim the same. Because the, the Bible, the principle is the same. The spirit dwelling in you can quicken our mortal bodies. So, si, si Pablo, iya pa nang gisigundahan nga kahit ang tao makasalanan, di quicken na na ni God. Can you, can you accept that? Kasi ang tinuray, pag lalitaw na sa tao, kriminal na, kawatan na, ripis na. But sa mata sa gano, I have quickened that. Namatay ako para siya. So, sa perspective ng God, that's quickened. But the man does not know that he has quickened. Nobody told that man, man, that's not who you are. Have you told a criminal, a ripist, who, oh, boy, that's not who what you are doing. Have you tried speaking to a man like that? 
You are doing what you are not supposed to do. You know why you are doing that? I tell you something. Why? You are ignorant. Pero ang ating perspective, dahil eh, tinanglan, makita na ito na galoon, yung tao, looking religious, pious, and then, oh, just noon. No, you cannot tell that. Outward appearance is not the absolute authority. It has to be in the spirit. Kung saan ang pagbago ka ang katawan na, ano kayo sistema? So, mauna ha? Hindi kong pagod, hindi. Second Corinthians 5.18 All things are of God who has reconciled us to Himself through. Kinsa may nareconcile sa ginoo? Ang tanang tao, di ba? Ang tao has been reconciled to a God who has all things. Reconciled, God. Hindi na. Hindi connect. Bisan gali kita na sa church, sige na tam sa, sa atong kinabuhi, parang alayo. Ang ating mindset, alayo ang ginoo. Kaya na, makikita mo sa Christian daw, ang, ang may message, He will come again. We look at Him, He is coming again. I don't know. Doon kayo nakasit sa ganong klaseng sistema, umabot na, busulod siya doon. Ano ba yan? Ignorant? Ano ba yan? Di ba? A kind of ignorant? He has come, but in the spirit. But your mind is about the flesh. Kaya, because it's your flesh, you want to see him appear in the sky, come down. Well, that may happen, but the most important thing to happen is that Christ must appear. He must appear in this body. So you will change because He's going to appear here. You experience Him here. So His appearing, first of all, will be in this body. In my body, He will appear. He has to appear. Kung hindi, ano ka? Where's the word? Where's the power? Where's the word of God? Where's the spirit of God? There? And you see, God is omnipotent. God is... Ano ba yun? So, yan. Asarap mamuhay. Asarap na pamuhay. Tama na. Very close na. Ayok na. Ito na lang. Are we aware of His presence inside us? Do you believe that we were reconciled? We were quickened? We were raised up? We were made to sit together with Him? in the heavenly places. Do you believe in this? Yes, believe. Like the demons too, believe. With trembling pa sila. Well, walang problema doon. We all believe. We start to believe, di ba? Pero lagyan natin yung substance ng ating pagtuo na this is what we are. Siguro, nahirapan tayo. Paano ba yan ma? Mangyari sa akin na I am meant to sit together with Him. Apo, sabi lang, far, saan tayo? We were meant to sit together with Him in the heavenly places. Far above every principalities, power, might, and dominion. Far above every name that is named. Not only now, but also in the times ahead. In the future. That's who we are. That's our, ang tawag natin doon, That's our position. How do you call it? Do you agree with that? But our problem is, asa man ang heavenly places? Yan ang problema. Ikaw nga, asa man ang heavenly places? Heavenly places is a realm in the spirit. Realm in the spirit. Heaven. When you talk about heaven, from this earth, from the earth, uh, atmosphere, 
Nothing but heaven, right? Literal heaven. But when you talk about spiritual heaven, it means you are in the spirit. We should be in the spirit every day. Even though we walk on this earth, but our mind is in the spirit. Can you do that? Siguro kulang pa tayo ng problema. Katulad ni Dune na Ikulong, Bartolina, matulog sa yun, na ay gabinuang ha. Ang mga sabi niya na, na ay sa uti po ang buang, malibang niya. Sila nga itong mga prison, iyang trapuhan si iyang mga tae. So, Pinaka-oras niya sa kulungan. Ano sa ka pag... <laughs> no, nasa asa na ka ng ginoo. But God is good. God is good. Don't lose heart. Ah, di ba tama ka? Huwag ba ba natin ito? Wala ba natin ma-experience? But we can... Uh, We can always do good every time, every day. We are full of hungry. Mapubuli ito kong verse. I learn to be content. Whether I'm full or hungry, whether I have too much or too little. Because I can do all things through through the Spirit. Because Christ now is the Spirit. I can do all things through Christ. But how do you digest that? I can do all things through the Spirit of God that is in me, inside me. So, gising, gising. So, we will summarize now, ang sarap, ang sarap pakinggan, no? We are created in the image of God, and God is our image, God is a spirit, or our image is God's image. His image, our image. Ano ba nahitabok pag we are joined to the Lord? Our spirit and the spirit of God are one. When Christ is in us, di ba sabi sa Bible, when Christ is in us, when, when everything of Christ is inside us, meaning His spirit, His life, everything of Him is in us, sabi sa Bible na, our body is dead because of sin. So our body will be always dead if there is sin, if this body is dead keep on sinning and sinning, this body is dead. Don't worry about people doing many wicked ways, sinning and sinning, but they are dead. They are disconnected with God. So our purpose is to connect them. Disconnected sila. They keep on sinning, but when they are not disconnected, they will stop sinning. They will stop sinning. The body is dead because of sin, but the spirit, what happened? Our body is dead, but the spirit, our spirit, which is one with the spirit of God, is alive. Is alive because of righteousness. So righteousness is life. Ang pagiging matuwid, batarong kang inong kinabuhi, that's life. Ayaw hunong pagbuhat sa matarong. Because that is life. There are many people around the earth who do not see life. They want to see life, the life of God. Sa matarong. So, magpadayon ta. See? Ang tauhanong, kalibutanong kinabuhi, Usahe mo ang mata. Wow! Glory! Glorious! Di ba? Murang po nang nasa Old Testament. The people in the Old Testament, when they saw Moses, they cannot steadfastly behold the face of Moses because of the glory of his countenance. There was a glory in the face of Moses in the old system. No, we are not in the all. How do you prove that we are not in the all? We need to experience a greater glory. Um, ang throne of grace and mercy is moving not in the old system, but in the new. So in the new, there is greater glory. 
in the old house, there was glorious, but sabi nga, the glory they saw in Moses is a passing, is a passing glory. It has passed already. But now, we need to be in the another, another house. A greater house is built not with human hands. So, there is but glorious. Kaya, yung po ating focus, more glory. And this is the place, no? We want to experience more of God. So, as we have been encouraged you know, in our preaching, many pastors, while actually, ang purpose, ang, ang nasa puso talaga ng mga pastor, ng mga spiritual, is that we could walk in the Spirit. Walk in the Spirit would make us realize the word that Christ is in you. And it will be our expression. The reason why we need to be in the Spirit, walk in the Spirit, because we are designed, we are intended to become the habitation of God. Do you believe in that? God dwells in you. The heaven is my throne, said God, and the earth is my apostle. And where is the house you are going to build for me? Where will my resting place be? Do you love God to rest on you? If God rest, resting on us, then everything that He has also rests in us. That the Spirit of God, the Spirit of glory, be resting on us. Ay, ito na nga yung sinabi ko. Do you like the Spirit of God and the Spirit of glory to be resting in us? Pero si Pedro sabi niya, this happen only when you are happy concerning the pirate trials that gonna test you, concerning the problem trial that come to you, do you rejoice? That's the, that's the question. But Peter said, I rejoice that I have partaken the suffering of Christ because when He shall appear in glory, I shall be glad with exceeding joy. Do you feel to be like to have that? When you have trials and then you just rejoice because your mind is set to the appearing of the Lord. When He shall appear, He shall appear in you. That's why you are happy. He's going to appear in you. Then we're going to be exceedingly glad. We shall be glad with exceeding joy. And that's why the Bible says, Blessed are you when you are being reproached because the Spirit of God, the Spirit of glory shall rest on you. On their part, Jesus is evil spoken of, but on your part, in this body, in my part, God is glorified. Here, here in this body. Would you like that? Ayun ang purpose ng God. He wants to be glorified in you and me. And then when we walk, then the places, the places that will go, people will see the glory of God. Tapos na. Can we just close now? Can we, can we go to the last slide? Ate, decide, no? We summarize. Uh, let us read this, uh, what is written here. You and me are born of God. Meaning, we are all birth in the Spirit of God. When we are born of God, we, we are born of the Spirit. Those who are born of the Spirit, you are become a spirit being. You and me are born of God, those are spirit being. Our true image is God's image. Just like Jesus Christ, we are the visible expression of the invisible God. Can you do this? Pretty by hand? Takhan tao nga, gusto mo makita ang Diyos. Kapag makita na, makita ang Diyos, dinigin ka nato. Timan ina. 
siguro bisag ko siya imong kutahaton mutuod yuko na ang Diyos na ang atong tanan na makita ang Diyos so we manifest Him we are not just human being on this earth we are a glorious and incorruptible seed of God as we said we are born of God we are born of the Spirit we are born again not with a corruptible seed but of an incorruptible Word of God that abides and endures forever. Is it not wonderful? Our true life, our real life is incorruptible. That's why, siguro, walang anong gapris na na life and incorruptibility, life and immortality. Do you, do you believe that there will be a generation, there will be people, people who will not be corrupted. When you see corrupt, kasi, you will disintegrate. You will perish. That's corruption. You die little and little and then you will vanish. But there are people who will not vanish. They will be like Christ. And you are that. We are that. Alam me, no? We are that. So, if we belong to Christ, we are a divine, human, and spiritual being. Ang hirap sa dunu. Tinuod ka ni? Ako na bagay ni Padayang, tinuod ka ni? Nakakay mo to, ni? That you are a divine, human, ang kinabuhi ni mo, nato, is an afflicted life, transcended life, resurrected life. Do you know that? And yet, ang atong at ang ginahin mo parang corruptible man, ma, ma, mawala raman na. Ano mo na? Is it that ignorance or deception? Or... So, nawala na. Okay. Okay. Basta ako na ito. Tapos na tayo dito sa summary. Ang uso pa yan. Yan. So, as long as we line up our identity to the wisdom of humanistic kernel and of the flesh, we cannot be part of the sons of God manifesting in a practical way. Not only do we awake to glory, kasi ginigising eh, manggigising tayo ng tao ngayon. Pukaw na to sila. Yuk yuk ba? Uy, gising, gising, pila na ba yung may dan? Saan naman na yung kinabuhi? At saan naman puro na lang? Sabay, sabay yung atong gihi mo. Gising, gising. Not only do we awake, kita na gising na tayo, but we focus on the glory of God. We focus on the grace of God because that's who we are. We do not only have the grace and the glory, we will become the glory of the Lord. We will become the grace of the Lord. We do not only have the word, but we will become the word. That's why we walk. People will see the word in you. So, let this declaration be upon us. Amen? Amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. So, mag-ampo ta. Mag-ampo ta. Manindog ka ta, Lord. Manindog ka ta na, Lord. Salamat. Lord, dihuwit kami, Lord. Dagan ka yung pulong na angay na mong ikinabuhi upon, Lord. Kulang kami sa kusog kulang kami sa kahong kung saon pag-express ang imong pulong apan Lord, salamat nga imong ipahinumdom ka na mo ang gahong, ang kinabuhi aron among maipadayag ang imong mga pulong mao ang Espiritu Santo nga anahaga na mo mao si Kristo ang iyang Espiritu mao ang kinabuhi nga iyang gitala o iyang gitisok Diri sa among kasing-kasing, kining iyang kinabuhi, kining gahuma, na isama siguro kini sa usa ka pinihi. Usa ka liso lamang, apan Lord, salamat nga mutubo kining liso. Kining lisuha ang tawag bao si Kristo. Dili gani ni siya ang ay tudluan pa kung mutubo kining lisuha, way laing makita kundi ang punuan ni Kristo, ang mga sanga ni Kristo ug ang mga bunga ni ini. Salamat kayo dako Lord nga 
ang imong pulong nga among gidawat mahimo kining among mga padayag sa among kinabuhi karon O Lord salamat kayo dako og gahad nga sa imong mga saad ang imong ganing mga saad pinaagi sa pulong amo kining gidawat ang mudawat ni ini mao ang binhi nga imong gitisok diri ka namo Lord salamat nga ana ang larawan sa sa kabinhi larawan kini sa tinuod nga kinabuhi nga imong gipa gipa tindog imong gipa barog diri sa among kasing-kasing mo na ugad nga kay si Kristo man kining lisuha kinabuhi man kini ni Kristo Lord among giampo nga mutubo gayud kini mao mana mao bitaw na ugad nga ikaw nagapahinumdom unsa ka importansya nga mutubo gayud kami spiritually kay mao may mahitabo ang spiritually mature nga tao mahibong ugad imong instrumento diin makita ka ang spiritually mature nga tao maoy makapadayag kun unsa ka kinsa ka hain ka unsa itumong nimo o Dios Lord himua nga kaming tanan mahimong mga katauhan o mga anak na Dios nga maipadayag din sa kalibutan kay nakita namo o Dios ang kalibutan ang katauhan dag agulo tungod sa mga kalisdanan apan imo kining gitugutan nga magulo apan aduna pay paglaom ang tanan Lord salamat nga ang katauhan ang sanlibutan o God ang imo kining luwason sa pagkamadunoton pinaagi ka namo pinaagi sa imong mga anak nga madayag dinhi sa kalibutan salamat o God bisag diining imong pulong nagpasalamat kami kay mo saksiman ang ang imong espiritu nga naa ka namo mo saksiman nga bisag kami anay espiritu kami usab dag agulo bisag hantod karon hantod Ginoo among masinati nga ikaw mahimaya gayod diri ka namo makita ka diri ka namo madayag ka diri ka namo lord among gilantaw nga kining mga panahuna o god mao kini panahon diin madayag ka makita ka sa among kinabuhi kay nahibalo kami Ginoo dili lang kami mga tao dili kami tawhanon o kalibutanong mga tao kundi imo kaning anak gikan kami kanimo Ginoo ang among pagkatao ay spiritual O God salamat O God salamat sa imong dihog salamat sa imong pulong salamat salamat sa tanan Ginoo ang kaming tanan mga padayon mga padayon diha kanimo og maiday padayag namo ang imong grasya, ang imong kaluoy, ang imong kinabuhi, ang tanan, tanan nga ah, di ka na mo, ang imong gadawat, mapadayag kini ginoo, aron ang imong pangalan, mahimaya, o madasig ang katawahan, tungod lang kanimo. Kining tanan ang mong giampo, pinaagi sa pangalan ni Jesus, ang tanan magasabing, Amen. 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 Thank you, O God. Thank you, Lord.